Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. This is JSON Crash Course. JSON is very important in web development, especially if you're working on the server side, dealing with APIs, sending and receiving data. And in fact, JSON is very easy to learn. And I'll show you examples of JSON with JavaScript and Python. So what is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a lightweight data interchange format. It's very easy for humans to read and write. It's easy for machines to parse and generate. It's also based on a subset of the ECMAScript uh, 262 in 1999. And also it looks like a Python dictionary or JavaScript object literal. And JSON is a text format language independent. So it can work with different languages, C Sharp, C++, Python, Java, and all the languages that you can think of. What is the structure of JSON? In fact, JSON is built on two main structures. The first is a collection of key value pairs, which in other languages, this is known as an object, like in JavaScript, um, a dictionary, like in Python, or hash table in C and C++. The second main structure is an ordered list of values, which in other languages, this is known as an array, um, like in JavaScript, a list in Python or vector in C++. The data types supported by JSON are strings, which is a sequence of Unicode characters wrapped in double quotes like this example, Apple, objects, which is a collection of key value pairs, boolean, which is true or false, null, which is the equivalent of none in Python, and number. And notice that I said number, not integer, because number takes integers and floats and put them in one basket. They are treated the same. And let me show you an example of JSON first structure, which is a key value pair. So inside curly braces, we have a key in double quotes, then the value, which is also wrapped in double quotes. And each key value pair is separated by a comma. And here we have different data types. So we have a string, we have a number, we have an object, and we have an array. In Python, there are a lot of libraries that support the encoding and decoding of the JSON data. So I will show you two examples, one for JavaScript and the other for Python. As JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, I'm obliged to show you some JavaScript code and how it looks like in the browser. And the second example will be in Python. All right, so let's code. Okay, so let me actually create a folder uh, let's call it JSON folder. And I will open that with my VS code. And let's create a folder called JavaScript and a second one called Python. So inside JavaScript, I want uh, index.html and I will create a second um, file called index.javascript on JS. In the HTML, I want um, a standard boilerplate and I will call this JSON in the title and here let's say JSON crash course a script okay and I will open it with live server and if you're using Google Chrome go ahead and hit F12 so in the index.js I'm going to show you some examples so we said in JSON, the representation of key value pair is made inside curly braces and each key and value should be wrapped in double quotes. In JavaScript, you can create an object which is similar to JSON mainly. And you can also use double quotes or without quotes at all. In JavaScript, it doesn't matter. So let me uh, declare a variable. I will call it fruit. And this is going to be equal to an object which looks like um, JSON data and I'll say name is equal to Apple, let's say. So this is an object, all right? And let's console log this fruit. So you'll save that. You get here in the console, name equal to Apple. But this is not a valid JSON. There is um, a website called JSON Lint. Okay. And this shows you if the JSON data is valid or not. So if you will take this, you will copy that, we'll paste it here, and click on Validate JSON, you'll find an error. Okay, this is not a JSON data. However, if you will um, wrap the name in double quotes, 
and you click validate JSON again, you get valid JSON. Also in the JavaScript object, you can add some properties. So let's say for instance, um, that our apple has color and the color can be, and notice this is an array and the color can be whether red or green. Let's get back to um, our file. All right, let's save that. And you get name apple and color red and green. You can also access a property. You can say fruit dot um, color. All right, and get red and green. You can access one of them. So in an array, the index by zero and one and two. So it starts by zero. So the first element is zero. So index zero, save that, you get red. So just um, let's make it like that. Let's make fruit.name, get apple and color. You get the colors, all right? And color with the first index, you get red only. You can also add functions to an object. So um, you can add a function and we will call it used in, for instance. So the apple is used in what? Uh, you can type function. Well, you know what? Uh, let me type it in uh, ES6. So um, function and let's return just a statement and we'll say uh, apples are used in juice and cocktails. All right, so if you will um, just console log that uh, dot used in, you get function apples are used in juice and cocktail. And this is totally wrong uh, if we will, um, if we'll copy this in JSON because a function is not a data type supported by JSON. Even if I will uh, wrap this like that in double quotes, it won't work. Um, let's actually delete those. Hit validate JSON. You will see here that there is something wrong. It doesn't understand this because it's a function. All right. So I will show you how to convert a JavaScript object now to JSON data. As a matter of fact, it's going to be a JSON string um, using a method called stringify. So let me actually comment these lines out. Let's get back to our file. So what stringify does, it will turn this object to a JSON string. So JavaScript can read it, right? So let me reassign the fruit variable, JSON dot a method called stringify. Okay, like that. And we'll pass the fruit um, assignment to Oh, because, okay, this needs to be var, not const, because const cannot be reassigned. Okay, and if I will console dot log fruit, you will get JSON data properly written. You see um, name uh, inside double quotes, color inside double quotes, and separated by a comma. Okay. Um, but the problem is if you want to access name, for instance, and save that, you get undefined because it's an object. And to solve this problem, I need the parse method. So let's actually, um, let's have again fruit reassigned equal to json.parse and let's pass inside here fruit and save and you get apple, okay? And we can try on color as well with the first index and you get red. So everything is um, properly printed. All right, so enough of the JavaScript. Let's now go to Python. So let's create another file in Python. Uh, we'll call it main.py. So in Python, there are a lot of JSON libraries and packages that you can install as I showed you. But there is one JSON built-in package pre-installed in Python called JSON. So you can directly import it without pip install it. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. And let's open the integrated terminal. And before we can go any further, let me actually show you in Python. So if I will import the JSON library and you type dir JSON, you get the different methods available in that JSON package. So 
load it loads the JSON data from a file so here we can say from a file and loads the s actually is for a string so it loads JSON data from a string the json.dump it writes JSON object to a file so we can here have a file and json.dumps will output a JSON object as a string so let's have four examples the first one I'm going to show you how to create a JSON string and here I want to convert a JSON string to a Python dictionary let's have a string and we'll call it apple string and this will be equal to um, don't forget to wrap this in single strings or single quotes and uh, we'll have a name which is apple then comma and color which will be inside a list red and green okay and finally a price this is just a JSON data inside a string and I want to convert that into a Python dictionary and for that I will use the loads method so I will declare another variable I will call it apple dict and this will be equal to the JSON module dot loads method and I will pass inside yes you guessed it the apple string and let's print the apple dict and let's change directory to Python folder and you know what I decided to change this to be JSON for you to be um, to be clearer and JSON so apple JSON and apple dict all right and let's run the file Python main.py and we get a Python dictionary and notice that um, the keys are wrapped inside single quotes not like JSON data and let's say you want to print one of those um, one of the values of any of the keys you can say print and you will use Apple dict and inside here not the index okay not by index not by zero by one so we'll pass name of the key which is for instance name let's save that and let's run the file and we get apple okay let me show you the second method which is load so let's create a JSON file actually in uh, our directory and to create a JSON file it has an extension of dot JSON so uh, let me create Microsoft dot JSON and I will just copy the data will paste it here so what I want to do is I want to read from that Microsoft.json file and how to do that it's very easy I will open that file so with open and the name of uh, the file Microsoft.json okay as file and I have um, a video on opening or dealing with files in Python so you might want to check it out then declaring a variable called data and this will take JSON dot load and I will pass file so I open Microsoft dot JSON and I created um, a variable called file and I passed it inside the load method so to open it I can say print data and let's say that we want um, let's say for instance we want the name let's make it simple name and let me comment those lines out run the file and you get Microsoft okay um, let's say for instance that we want the names of um, or the, the founders of Microsoft well founder is inside foundation is inside the dictionary and founder itself it has a list so I want to access foundation first then founder so to do that um, let me copy the line so we want foundation uh, with a capital F and next to it I want the founder so if you will save the file and run it you get Bill Gates and Paul Allen and you can try with the other values so the third method that I want to show you is dumps okay and in dumps I want to convert a Python dictionary to JSON data okay so let's have a variable and I will call it employee 
and this will be equal to just a simple dictionary so I will have single quotes not double quotes because it's not a, um, because it's not JSON and let's have an ID with 07 so what I will do is I will use the dumps method this is called serializing JSON data so I will uh, declare a variable I will call it JSON underscore obj and this will be equal to JSON module dot the method dumps okay and dumps is going to take the dictionary which is the employee and the second parameter or the second argument rather is indent and I want to indent four spaces and let's print that object so print JSON object okay let me comment those lines out and let's run the file and there it is JSON data converted from a Python dictionary okay notice that um, the keys and the values both are wrapped inside uh, double quotes unlike the dictionary and this is I did it intentionally to show you the difference all right the last example that I want to show you in Python is with the method dump and in dump I want to write JSON object or JSON data to a file so I will actually create a file dot JSON and I will write on it some uh, some data some information and naturally the information will be dict so it will be converted into JSON data and written on that file and save in the current directory so let's do that let's actually take that example employee copy paste let's add a couple of uh, keys so let's have age for instance I have 35 and let's have height and I will use the same method with as so with open and I want to open but I want to create that file so I will call that file employees.json and I want it in the write mode not the read mode like we did here oh actually I didn't pass it because the default is read mode so the read mode reads the file and w writes a file okay as out file so this is the name of the variable and what I want to do is I want to dump that dictionary which is called employee and the second argument is out file alright so save that let's clear the terminal and let's run the file and boom we have created uh, an employees.json file and we have converted the data from a Python dictionary to JSON data or JSON object okay so that's it guys for this course and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments I like answering your questions and get in touch with you thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next crash courses